Hey guys, so today I want to show you an AI agent that we recently built. We are building AI agents now every single day for our customers at Locate Agency, and they are transforming how businesses do customer support. So we're getting immediate answers with well-funded information, well-researched information. Um, the AI is not going out to the wild to research for information, so we're compiling the right information and training the AI agent to reply exactly what the user is looking for. So I'll show you briefly how this works. Basically, in this case, we're using WhatsApp for the medium between the end user and the agent. And obviously, we're using some base and NADN. So basically, that looks like this. Our NADN workflow on the back end looks like this. Basically, we have like three main types of messages, right? Um, so we have the first um, agent. In reality, there are three different agents, but obviously, the user experience is just one WhatsApp chat just one conversation, right? So basically it all starts by the user from the website. We have a WhatsApp um, icon on the bottom right. People click that, open WhatsApp, and they send a message. And then first we want to collect their name. Obviously we already have their phones. And then we're also asking for their, um, for their email in case we uh, want that. So basically we have the system message here uh, with the instructions in terms of how it's uh, managing the conversation, how to handle that. As you can see, it's in Spanish, right? Um, and then we're using uh, Postgres here, so SAPA base, we're storing everything, I'll show you that in a second. Then we have the um, main AI agent. So in this case, we have compil compiled like an FAQ uh, document that's also in SAPA base with everything that people ask this agent. This is for a solar panel installation company in Mexico. So we help the company put together like a very robust document where we're answering every single question that users typically have when engaging with the previous agent, a human agent doing this work. Um, so we've put together all of that. And then we have this other like modular agent. So basically what we're asking users is that they send their electricity bill through the WhatsApp chat. And then using, you can see here that we have like uh, Gemini. So using AI, we are identifying what type of contract they have with the um, electricity company. And then based on that, the AI agent, based on location, the type of contract that they have, the type of service, et cetera, will figure out if the company can service them or not. And if it does, then what it does here is it notifies, basically on this workflow, it notifies the human in Slack to let them know that there's a new lead. So the, the lead, instead of having a human answering all of these repetitive questions, the AI agent is handling that. And then eventually the user will submit their, um, their invoice their contract, and then the AI agent will analyze that. If it's a fit, then we send it over to Slack, and then a human can take over uh, and basically generate a quote. We also have this option. So when the, um, so basically we have like our FAQs, the quotation flow, which is the one that I just showed you, and then the human. So if for whatever reason, the AI agent doesn't feel confident, confident enough answering a question, then the AI agent will notify the human in Slack, and then a human can take over that conversation. We're using this tool called ZAPI. Um, so we are not going through Meta uh, in order to set up this automation. Uh, one of the reasons is like, this is very easy to set up and going through Meta was a pain in the ass. The second thing, the second important thing is that we're not constrained in terms of when we can follow up back again with the, with the end user. In Meta, you have like, I think a 24 hour window and then you cannot initiate a chat as an, like on your end. You need the other user, the end user to reach out to you. In here, it's more like a normal uh, WhatsApp. So at any time I can reach out back like two days later, three, three days later, whatever. So basically we help the client map this very simple process flow. So initiating the conversation, if it's the first time they're writing or not, uh, and then identifying like if it's like FAQ, so they want directly to quote their location, their email, and then based on some metrics, basically the tariff that they have on their invoice on their contract, then we figure out if we can help them. And if we do, we send this to Slack. If not, we tell them that we can't help. So from this, that's how we build this workflow. And then we're using here some base uh, so you can see that we have this table with the knowledge base. So right now it's so simple. It's a very robust document, but it's just pure text. So we have all of that here. Uh, we have our chat history, um, our WhatsApp user messages, etc. So let me show you, I'll pull this out here. Um, so for example, I have this conversation that I started today, right? So I wanna uh, get a price on my solar panel installation and then Angelic is replying um, with your name. So I add my name. It asks for my email if I want, I can give it or not. And then I'm sending my, my bill, um, my contract, but I start asking questions about what type of panels they install, um, what happens if there are uh, shades, what happens if there's a hurricane, I mean, a bunch of questions. And you can see that the answers are basically looking at our FAQs that we've created. So they're 
the AI agent is responding like a human. Sometimes it's asking if they want to get a quote. Sometimes it's asking if there's something else that we can help them with. Um, we have like this logic. So based on their location, we can either sell or not. And then eventually when we send them the, the bill, um, the AI agent with AI will identify if we can help them out and we can, it'll transfer over to the human. So just to give you a brief recap, we're doing that on a lot of projects. Um, in this case, it's WhatsApp, but we're building that in chatbots and websites. We're building apps that are looking at internal databases and some of base or third party uh, to answer questions about anything internal in your business. Um, so instead of building all of these reports, you can just ask AI information about your own data. Uh, so something to think about as you're exploring AI, how to become more efficient, how to give more tools for your team to make better decisions. This is the way to go. Reach out. We can help you. That's it. Bye.